like this? Yeah, like that. You got it. That's what be really exciting to people watching this now. We've seen about 50 hours of us doing this shit. What, going? But being in this place, you know, we never leave. We've been here for a week. Eric, let's, let's get a documentary of you going in and making those phones light up. I can't make the phones light up. Nothing. You want to see the phones light up? Look. See these phones? There. Now they're lighting up. When you run your fingers down the damn thing, Whoa. they light up. That's the only thing that makes them light up. You get on the air, you offer people money, free sex, whatever, they don't light up. When did you offer free sex? Uh, but then you were show, in fact, wasn't it? Yeah, it was during my show. I mean, show. you did give away a date with yourself, did you not? For $10? <laughs> Except oh. she would only pledge five, I heard. Yeah, well, that's understandable. <laughs> So now the brothers are on the air. They pulled in 35 bucks. Uh, hey. We'll just have to see how it goes, you know? Yeah. Right now, I'm, well, I'm just plus two. Let's go in. Don, oh, Don Luke and Bill. Oh, 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 my God. Chris, you know what the Zoom button does? Yeah. Where is it? It's uh, like a little knob. Can I move this instead? Uh, you just sort of press this, flip okay. it each way, and you'll see things get closer oh, okay. and further away. All right. Well, let's get a uh, wide angle. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, the new man at the camera. Yeah. Golly. Jim, still... Pondering his thoughts. Pondering his thoughts. What's going on in uh, CR2? Can you watch it now? Yeah, I don't know. Yes, indeed. Uh, Chris Crowley uh, just entered the room with a with an audio camera to embarrass us at parties in the near future, which will be great. Audio video. That'll be uh, or, actually it's a video. Sorry, for audio video. It's, it's getting late. <laughs> no, you're really gonna late? No, it's no, early. Goodness, it is early. It is early. It is very early, but a great book. And yes, as you said, uh, a little, a very, very much in depth. But it's for twenty five a twenty five dollar pledge at six three two six nine zero one. And Ted, uh, the brothers are uh, matching. If we get a hundred dollars or at least 15 calls in the next 47 minutes, we are going to match that $100 with $100. Wait a minute. Do you mean we have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in the studios right now? I, I believe so. Chris Collins got that thing. We so. have. But in spirit. In spirit. That that uh, video camera is so close that every pore is going to look like a railroad. <laughs> <laughs> See that? So that'll be another story for another time. And if you want to see that film, join us here at the staff join and uh, 90 .1 join the 90.1 Club. Join the 90.1 Club. That's a good one. That and you worth get yourself a copy of. And if that's not worth ninety dollars, what is? And ten cents. And ten cents. That's right. Ninety point one. Six three two six nine zero one. Five oh, uh, one six. Five one six area code. Brother Bill, you got the. Uh, we have more premiums. Uh, Claudia's going to tell us. Oh yes, about. we do. Uh, 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 uh. We're here to harass Eric Coyley once again. I'm just telling the people that they're going to have a nice new NPR station to look forward to. Thanks to thanks to the amount of money they're giving us. Hope you like classical music, folks. Suckers. I know how it works. You know what? I've done it myself. <laughs> of course, you know this is all a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, um, I said, uh, <laughs> of course, you know that little byplay that was going on was uh -huh. just a joke. All right, carry on then. We like a good joke. Sure. <laughs> so yes, uh, Nick. Uh, I get the War and Peace novel and the, the tickets to uh, Jimi Hendrix for the fifty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Just uh, make it out to uh, <coughs> W-I-E-N-E-R. We've changed the, uh, it's not W-U-S-B anymore. It's uh, <laughs> no problem. I don't, I, honestly, I don't no know. No problem. Uh, <laughs> see, we, we kind of joke like this. If, uh, if anybody's watching this in the audience or any, uh, any uh, U.S. attorneys or anything like that, this is a joke. This is, this is, this is humor. See, what's happening here really isn't, isn't, is not real. In other words, it's, just a little, just a little joking to break the tension of working hard on this. I mean, like effects now. Pardon? I think he's crushing the effects part. Of oh it. dear. Split screen. Oh my. Uh, you see, I, I just want to make sure that there's no misunderstanding amongst any FCC uh, commissioners or or law enforcement officials. Um, I wouldn't want them to think that uh, there's any impropriety taking place with respect to uh, money. I mean, I. 
<laughs> look, look. I'm, uh, okay, okay. I'm a little behind, but I'll catch up. <laughs> My God. My God. Okie doke. Okay, Eric, look, uh, if it's come to that's this. why the time wasn't working. Okay, look, Eric, if it's come to this, please, 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 take this, take this, because, because I owe you money for lunch, but I think you owe me some change, maybe. Let's see. It's what, about a dollar and a quarter for the orange juice? About like two fifty. What, about a dollar for the cold floor? About three fifty. I don't want your money. Sure you do. Three fifty. Oh. About, uh, sorry, let me say that hard. It's <laughs> more money, you know, you can Can we answer? WUSB. It's, I'm sorry, to who? Hold on, please. Is there a Sharon Vollen here now? Yes, it's the new community cinema that you wanted me to pull. I gotta write up that one, and I gotta write up Eric Stambler. Who's that? Uh, the rock, uh, pop. Oh, it's on again. It's on again. I'm trying to fix the clock. Right, you just happen to be taping all the activity well, how while you're... how are you going to see the clock if I right. press the button? Your battery I mean, you can see and remind any U.S. Battery, watching this is all done The lithium the battery appears to be dead. There's no way to verify this. Why? Go ahead. It's better today than the other day. At least I look sort of decent. Yes. Oh, Irwin Stanley. Let's see how the side of your face looks. You know what's a scary, scary thing they told me yesterday, I think? What's that? You have nice teeth, you know that? They told me yesterday. Did you brush your teeth today? Let's look. Today, yesterday, every day. Brace. Oh. They told me yesterday, I think like you. I wasn't sure if it was a company. Who told you that? Um, Mike. Mike who? You have. Mike, how do you say your name? You have or you have? Oh, you have. Oh, I can't believe it. Why isn't it doing that well? Last trip was it did pretty well. Is Rob Clancy here? No, no, no. You know why? You know what my mm -hmm. opinion is? The pictures sound the same. And and they turn people off. But of course that's my opinion. Yeah, well. You're gonna pitch during the show? I'm not pitching Pacifica. I already said. No, that. no, this next show. He's gonna play shortstop. Oh, I gotta be ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh, I am. I am. I'll pull them. No, 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 no. I gotta call. Uh, no, I gotta write them. I gotta call Disney. Disney, Disney, Disney. <laughs> we started to try to make a two hundred and fifty dollar pledge today. Pardon? We started to pitch for two hundred and fifty dollar pledge. I'm sorry. $250, you said, on the air. I did, yes. For only $250, you can get this. First of all, who's going to want to see a show, right? Yeah. The tickets are worth $500. It's, a, it's still a show, you know? $500 tickets? Man, it's crazy. No, but the point is, they would normally have to pay $500. Why would anybody normally want to pay $500 for a show? Because it's a very special show. How special could it be? I mean, it's a very special show in that there are a lot of luminaries appearing there. Big deal. Unless you get it, you know, to hang out with them, what, what, what's the point? Well, in a way, you are hanging out with them because you're there, and there are probably a lot of luminaries in the audience. Mm. I don't know. And by the way, it's not, when I say luminaries, I don't mean celebrities. I mean literally luminaries. I mean different lighting fixtures will be sitting in the audience during the course of the, of the show. Thanks for clarifying that. Anytime. Alumni. But I mean, they're no good. It's just, it's just, they're just pandering. They want to make you stupid, turn your brain to jello, and then sell you stuff. It's so cynical in a way. Here, maybe maybe we're cynical, but we're upfront about it. I mean, we admit like it's all goof. We're here to bring you good radio. We just want to, we, we have no agenda. It's like, here's some good stuff to listen to. That's kind of like our slogan. It's like, here's some good stuff on the air. Here's a quote for it. I must say, I find TV very educational. The minute somebody turns it on, I go to the library and read a good book. You know who said that? I grabbed Joe Marks, and I, and I think he was uh, kind of clued into what was going on with the TV thing. Now, we got bluegrass CDs. We have uh, LPs. We still have cassettes, live, you know, double length cassettes. We have subscriptions to Bluegrass Unlimited, the Bible of Bluegrass. We got, uh, I think we got a dinner in here somewhere. 
That barbecue thing. thing. Yeah, big barbecue thing in Huntington. 632-6901. Show us that you care about non-commercial uh, radio. Show us that. Show, show us that you basically don't care about commercial programming. Yeah. Television is just one more facet of that considerable segment of our society that has, has never had any standard but the soft sell. The soft sell buck. Raymond Chandler, the great mystery author, Philip Marlowe, The Big Sleeve, The Long Goodbye, kicked off in, I think, 1952 or something. Another quote from Fred Allen, imitation is the sincerest form of television. You know what that's all about. It's the same stuff over and over again. I took some TV courses at a college out west where they had a major communication. And there was a famous story about a lot of bit actors who were doing the, uh, you know, the bonanza thing, the gun smoke, all the same, you know, drama, dramatic uh, garbage. And one guy is reading his lines and he's thinking, man, I heard these before. And the, the, the floor director said, yeah, well, we, we used these all in uh, Gunsmoke last year. It was, it was the same line, you know. And when you watch this junk, if you can deal with it, you see it's the same show over and You know, I look in the uh, TV guide or whatever every night, and as soon as I see, uh, you know, somebody was murdered or there was somebody's double showed up, you know what I mean, the evil twin, it's all the same stuff, man. They're just saying, you're stupid and you're going to buy this crap. Here's an alternative. Give us some bucks. Help us out here. Just need it. We need it badly. We can improve our signal. We can uh, blanket a greater part of Long Island, even up in Connecticut. We've got a bunch of listeners up there who have helped us out in the past. You can help us out again right now. We need it bad. Maybe we'll quit bugging you. Maybe this is the last one. I've been here 11, almost 12 years. It's only the second one of these things we had to go through. The first one was to come with the bucks to even uh, plant that transmitter. Now we just want to pay it off. And uh, expand our listening area. And, it, you know, it's not all, all K-Rock. It's not all hits that you heard 8,000 times. Even NEW, which is once an alternative station, is now the same stuff over and over and over again. They bring in their consultant, the same guy from Indiana who showed Hot 100 or whatever was supposed to be famous. You know, it all, it all crapped out. It lasts for about a year and a half, and people say, we heard all this before. <laughs> they have non-personalities reading stuff. They buy jokes from the back of any broadcast magazine. It's all full of one-liner services. You know, it's all, it's a non-event. It's just like saying that all listeners are stupid. They're going to put up with this crap. We know you're not. That's why you're listening to us. So give us a uh, vote here. Vote for non-commercial radio. Even most non-commercial stations now are trying to sound like commercial stations. That's their only way to get listeners. It's like... Let's pretend we're WBLI. Let's pretend we're BAB. I'm not even going to rag on our stations because if you know you know what's going on, you know what they're about. Let's just say that that's not what non-commercial radio is about. It's not trying to turn your brain into jello and then hit you with something to buy. Buy some cars. Buy some auto insurance from a crooked uh, agency. You know, it's going to lie on your uh, lie on your application and give you a half of, half of the uh, normal rate. Then you get billed double. Happened to me. Turns out they just lied the whole time. You know, Jim, if I can just uh, yeah. butt in here for a second. You know, if uh, if people don't call, then in effect they're saying they agree with uh, with your definition of radio, of commercial radio, but that's the only way to get listeners is to have bland, pre-programmed music. Now, you can say what you like about WUSB, but we are not pre-programmed and we are not bland. What time do you think you can uh, figure things out for yourself? Yeah, we, we, we sure do. By calling 632-6901, you're, uh, you're, you're showing us that you support non-commercial radio. You're willing to support non-commercial radio. Keep us going. Keep us on the air. And help us make our signal better. Because by making our signal better, we won't have to do this as often. We, we, we won't have to uh, be struggling because you'll be able to hear us. You'll be able to hear us loudly and clearly. Think, think how nice that will be to be able to go out to South Hall, to be able to go out to the Hamptons or uh, venture up into Connecticut and be able to get USB the whole time. Even west and south of here, too, which has always been a problem. 632-6901. All you got to do is give a call, and we have some nice premiums for you. Uh, whatever your pledge level, we've got something for you. 632-6901. we got mugs. we got T-shirts. we got bluegrass CDs. You're not going to find them in any, any record shop or anything. You can order them up, but you may even not get them if you take six or eight weeks. we got Buddy Merriam here, the great bluegrass picker. I mean, one of the all-time mandolin guys. I mean... Kind of a humble dude, but this guy is great. He's a listener. He doesn't miss many shows on USB. No, I tune in every Wednesday night, but it is tough to get you even in the Smithtown. Smithtown, which is uh, tragic, but true. Days in and out. 
So help us out here. We still got a load of CDs. We have Seldom Steam, that uh, 15th anniversary CD. We got Lester Flats Festival. We got a double lamp cassette. We got All Is In The Way, Jerry Garcia. You can't beat this stuff. Here's a quote from Samuel Johnson, the great, the great literary scholar and critic of his day back in the 1700s. Promise, large promise, is the soul of an advertisement. And that's all that they're selling you. It's just an idea. It's a concept. It's, it's nothing. It's, you know, lighter than air. There's nothing there. It's an impression. You know? It's an idea. Let's be cool. Let's ride a horse into the sunset. It's not like buying cigarettes. It's like, let's be a, let's be a manly dude. You know what I mean? And be on a horse with, with, with lines in our face and an old hat, a leather hat on. So it has nothing to do with buying and getting lung cancer and having to pay off an iron, iron lung through your insurance at work. They're just dealing with impressions. They're saying you're too stupid to make decisions for yourself. You don't, you're not buying a soft drink. You're buying, like, a, the hot babes on surfboards and stuff. You know what I mean? This, this is everything that we're not about. We're about, like, what we show on the air. It's what we program. It's the real thing. It's, it's music. It's news. It's information. It, we're not trying to manipulate you and uh, act like uh, you just a slab of Play-Doh that we can uh, make into a creature that we, we need or want. We're saying, look, we have other ideas, so give us a shot, 632-6901. And for 51 weeks out of the year, we don't ask for anything. This is the one week we are asking for your support, so please don't let us down, 632-6901. That's true, how often do you bug? Yeah, by the way, take 59 of the USB Stony Brook. You got Pacifica, I think, every night, is that right? Uh, Weeknights. How many? Weeknights. Weeknights. You know, you got alternative news. You have people who are trying their best. You don't have, uh, you know, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, fat cats were saying what should and shouldn't be on the air. Alternative stuff. I don't even agree with this stuff a lot of the times. But I mean, you got to hear the other stuff to at least uh, stake out your own ground. You can give us 10 bucks. That makes you a special contributor. We have 20 bucks. You, can, you know, like I said, you got three bucks on you. You got a little extra. You got some singles left on your paycheck. We'll take that. We're not proud. We're going to, we got, uh, what do we got here? Uh, King Ross from Oakdale. Tennessee Mountain Bluegrass Festival. We've got CD Sandra from East Patchogue. And we want to thank you. You're out there contributing. We have 15 bucks. 35 bucks, you get a t-shirt. You get a shirt and a mug for a sustaining order. 50 bucks. 90.1 gets you in the 90.1 club. And I think if you uh, donate $90.1, we're going to erect, I think, a 30-foot statue for you in the front of the, uh, of the campus as you drive in. It'll be like those Lenin statues in Russia. Big, giant things, man. Larger than life. And oh, angry mobs won't rip them down. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, radio, the triumph of illiteracy. John Dos Passos. That's a, that's what explains commercial radio. It's like saying, look, you have no choice. You want to hear the same stuff over and over again. You don't really care. Stairway to Freebird. How about some uh, Derek? And, how about Layla again and again? How about Madonna? That's something I thought would come and go pretty quick. You know, and then here we are. It's just get, it just gets quiet because of who it is. It is Madonna. Ergo, we're going to play it until you, your brains melt down. Hey, buddy, where, where else? Where, where can you even hear good country music on the radio anymore? I don't believe you really can. You really can. It's not. Why and even, even, the, even the country station, that they just play the same tunes over and over. Sort of wimpy pop music. Yeah, you know, all watered down and uh, nothing like good bluegrass. Man, it's the real thing. This is the if he could distill what America was about, I think it would boil down to bluegrass music. You know what I'm saying? This is the, it's a good time. It's maybe you got that high lonesome sound, but this is all music from the heart. I haven't yet heard any 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 genre, any new grass, bluegrass, jazz grass, traditional old timey stuff that didn't come directly from the heart. None of it ever sounds uh, uh, this uh, in, uh, ingenuous. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's where it starts. It's all the real. Is, are you blurry or am I blurry, Jim? You're not in focus. You are blurry. I'm perfectly crystal clear. I'm sharper than sharp. <laughs> oh, but you're getting clearer. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hard to pour hard to pour <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. quick fade to... No, not me. Is that film in that thing? <laughs> it's film. Film. There's Turn it film off. in there. Turn it off. Turn it off. It's such a small one. That's just one of the smallest ones I've Yeah, seen. I mean, the, the things, the, the cassette the size of, a, of an audio cassette, it's, it's unbelievable.
Hey, okay, go ahead. Weird story. What is it? She's going to come down and pay cash. She wants to come down tonight. All right. And it's a twenty-five dollar pledge. All right. That's it. That's, that's not really a weird story. Well, enter it as a pledge. And when she pays, we'll enter it as paid. Okay. Well, it's entered as a pledge. Well, then bring it to the computer, and the computer operator, whoever that may be, will enter it. I want to see. No, what? Smoke? What? Smoke? Oh, Susan's just panicking again. If she smelled smoke. Why is she running into the hall? Oh, you don't run to the fire, do you? Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> I don't smell anything, by the way, but I've got a lousy sense of smell. <laughs> I don't smell anything, and I don't have a lousy sense of smell. <laughs> this is the psycho effect. In the confession on tape here. We got this was supposed to be a premium given away, Eric Coyley is uh Oh no, my battery's running low. He's filming me right now. I'm talking to my roommate. Who also stole a shirt, right? Also has one, yes. Yeah. And uh roommate's name. Let's get the full story on this. Uh his name is uh well, You know his name. be anonymous at a time. Would you want to be anonymous? Uh, they're filming me right now. And the battery's about they're to run out. They're filming me right now. Oh, you the see the flashing red light? Please give you a little anecdote about the shirt. What? Give you a little anecdote about I, the shirt. I told him. Uh, this so was, we want to get it captured. This was lying next, like, along with a bunch of other shirts which were just, like, being, which were just lying around here and they are just giving those away, a bunch of those black ones with the, uh, triangles on I forget what the name of the movie, but some movie is coming out. So, I figured like these were also like a bunch of shirts just being given out because those were just given to me so I figured oh people were just coming and taking these as well so I picked one. You want the other shirt? It's like in his mailbox. <laughs> oh, back back on the air. <laughs> back on the air. It's a brand yes. new battery. It's a brand new battery. This one won't go out. Uh, I don't know how much of the story you last got caught, but I got caught wearing the shirt by the DJ. We're supposed to give them out. What? Don't worry about it. Oh, not, ooh, we're going for the uh, my aerial head, view. Is my head an event or something? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> God, anyway, an event. I got caught by the DJ who was supposed to give these shirts out as premiums. And, uh, well, he was with the band. He, he yelled at me and the band then just laughed and gave me a cassette. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's so it. I don't know how much of that guy, like, on but the But Steve Kreischer is not laughing battery, right but, now. Uh, Steve is still upset. Steve is not laughing. <laughs> but, oh well. Oh well, we don't care. Yeah, he Good is. Good night. Susan. I'm leaving too. Yeah, well. You're leaving. I'm leaving so I can wash two mouths. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well, feel, It's good if you're doing that. Hey, what do you get when you cross? Who cares? A, uh, it's a good one. What do you get I'm when you cross? I'm going to study now. Uh, uh, an agnostic. Well, we're always dyslexic. Don't worry about it. And there's one other thing. Agnostic. Well, it's kind of cool that I like just chose today to wear this shirt. No. Oh, well, God, this is horrifying. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody doesn't believe in dogs. Oh, well, you heard this joke. No, because I figured it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How did you figure it out? Because the uh, dyslexic... I have, what, would, what would you think? An I mean, agnostic? A dyslexic? What? To mix the agnostic and a dyslexic, you get and, somebody who uh, doesn't believe and, in dogs. Well, who it makes who, sense to me? Who's the, who are the people who he thinks I heard it before. I never sleep. heard it before. Who can't sleep? What do you call somebody who can't who can't sleep? Who won't sleep disorder? Insomniac. Insomniac, Insomniac, dyslexic, and an agnostic. Somebody who lies up a night at night wondering whether or not there is a dog. <laughs> That's my favorite uh, joke. Did you hear the guy on the radio today? No. Harry Morgan or Henry Morgan, whichever. Oh, Henry Morgan. Talking about. Why he doesn't call his dog dog? I don't know why. Why, oh, do you, that oh, was good. why do you call your mother mother? That's not her name. Do you call your friend friend? Do you call your dog dog? dog? Sometimes. This is from the 1940s and it was cracking me up. I missed that. I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah. Well, you certainly goodnight. never hear it again, that's for sure. Oh, well, let's say goodnight. Let's get a full uh, look at that shirt uh, from the back there. The shirt. Yeah. Like the front. Okay. That's the side. You know, it's such a coincidence that you happen to be wearing that I right know, now. And you got nails. I, like, took it on Sunday. Man. <laughs> and just as we were discussing, where did those shirts go? Well, oh, son, I come walking in wearing it. We're experiencing oh. synchronicity. Do, do, do. Synchronicity. Yeah, yeah hold one up for us. This is what it looks like not on a person. <laughs> <laughs>
That's good, making a, a, a bad a, a better. Well, they did say they would give us more. Ah, so you're covered. There we go, we're covered. Yeah. We're covered. See? 1990. No problem. Now, I'm going to call Steve Kreitzer and see how upset he really is. Good night. Find out the full story. Take care of you. Well, you might as well. It's great when you walk like this, the hallways. <laughs> He doesn't know the full story, by the way. What does he? Him, I don't know where I got it. I've been getting, because I got, actually, I have been getting quite a few t-shirts. <laughs> Come on, Eric, here's the microphone. Eric, Explain this let one. me ask you something. You've been in hotels room, motels room, motel rooms before, haven't you? Sure, bathrooms, dining rooms, you name it. Why? <laughs> Why are you still in the hotel room? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Sure, I'm not going to tell you. Why are you still in the hotel room? Anyway. What was it? Anyway, why is it that all those beds are like so tight that you can't get into them? You know, what, what is it? You know, the maids come in with power tools inside of them together? It's like, you know, tr if they can trap you past noon, they can charge you for an extra day? It's the black and decker bitches, you know? Who well, I'm telling you, Maria, nobody's getting out of here tonight. You know, uh, what are they? It's like the side of those beds together? I don't know. Uh, these, are not, these, are not, <laughs> these are not working right now, guys. Because I mean, you don't have the applause cards. You know? oh, oh, there we go. No, that's not a laugh. That's a laugh. That's not applause. Well, do we have an applause card? Why I'll, is the laugh find an audience deeper for you. and deeper every time you play? <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's maturing. We need Velcro. Oh, we up. need Velcro. <laughs> no, no, we can't have this. We cannot have this. We cannot have this. Yes, folks, this joke is so bad at making the babies cry. <laughs> like that with bulging muscles. Oh, he he has to hit. He has to hit me with it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did it, you did it. Oh, it's <laughs> so thank you, thank you. God's great world over here. God's great world. You know, I just don't... <laughs> please, oh, please. <laughs> it's been killing me, folks. Please, send in some money to those people. Please. Uh, well... We're not like killing you, you're just dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Last, last, last week's news... <laughs> Last week's lunch, last month's tampon. Anyway, I like a woman in shape, but I don't like I'm a woman like me with bulging muscles and beans everywhere. If that was sexy, I'd tell my grandmother to wear shorts, you know? You know. Okay, I'm dying, I'm dying. Somebody clap, somebody clap, somebody. Viv, like I you said. like me? You really like me? It's more like that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's play a tune now. Here's some madness from, uh, yes. from Keep Moving, the title cut. Yes. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> what?